we're entering Moorhaven Lock, which is on the Okeechobee Waterway. The Okeechobee, Lake Okeechobee is uh, fairly close on the other side of that lock, uh, still down the canal a little ways. So here we are in Moorhaven Lock, no one else is in here. It doesn't look like it's more than about a three foot rise today. Leaving Moorhaven Lock, that was a pretty easy lock through, it was only a couple of feet. We're in the canal that runs southeast around the rim of Lake Okeechobee. We won't be able to take the rim route all the way because it's too shallow right now and there are a lot of uh, shoals and obstructions and things in the water. So at Clewiston, we'll turn and head straight across the, the lake. full of birds this morning. Just waking up. This is where the rim route ends and we, or at least for us, and we start out across Lake Okeechobee. If we'd gone into Cooliston, we would have had to go through that little lock there. Lake Okeechobee is a very shallow lake. Right now we're in 80 feet of water. It's never going to get more than about 11 feet all the way across. But because it's so shallow, it creates some steep waves. destination at Indian Town Harbor. It's not windy in here. And that is out there at the St. Lucie Canal. if you can see, but right down in the grass over there, there's an alligator. Just his head you can see right this second. This is the first one that we've seen on the waterway, other than the ones we saw on the dinghy. And now you can just see the guy's head. But at least we saw an alligator. Can you see the turtle swimming here? I think he thinks he's going to get a treat. Too. You want more? 